I love to make great fresh spring rolls in the summertime. They're light, fresh, delicious, and they're a terrific way to use up just about anything that you have left over that, that you like to eat. I thought I would show you today how easy it is to roll one up. And the filling that I'm using today is just a combination of veggies that I have on hand here. I just shredded some cabbage and some carrot. I'll put a little bit of green onion and a sliced mushroom in here, and also chopped a little bit of fresh cilantro. This could just as easily have a million and one other veggies in it. Uh, could also have uh, leftover um, meat that you have around or some crab or shrimp that's already been cooked. And you can mix those in and really make a million and one different combinations. Now, regardless of what I have in here to go in my spring rolls, I like to dress it a little bit before I roll them up. And typically what I'll do is just give it a dash of uh, soy sauce, a little dash of sesame oil. Not much of this because a little goes a long way. Uh, a pinch of salt and maybe a little bit of pepper. You could also add garlic or ginger in here if you wanted to, citrus juices. You can have lots of fun making variations of this. Now there's no magic amount of the soy and sesame. We're really just looking to moisten this a little bit and to add flavor. So don't feel like you have to use a, a measuring cup for this. Just sort of get it moist and tasting good and you're ready to go. Now to actually roll it up, what you're going to want to do is use a, a fresh spring roll wrapper. Now these are not like the frozen wrappers that you find that are used more typically for making fried spring rolls. These are translucent rounds and they work really well when you dip them in hot water just for 10 or 15 seconds. It moistens them and makes them really pliable and ready to go. So you have your filling ready to go before you start dipping these because you're literally going to roll the second that they're nice and pliable. Okay, once you have moistened this well, you want to spread it out on your board. And sort of the trick here is to enclose the filling tightly without, uh, without tearing it. And sometimes you may have one tear, but that's okay. You can always just use the filling and, and go again. Now I've placed a little bit of filling in the center here, and what I'm going to do is bring the back edge of the spring roll wrapper over the top. And what I like to do is to sort of give it a gentle squeeze with all of my fingers there to get it tight without you know, tearing it so that it's ready to be rolled. You'll notice I didn't take the filling all the way out to the edge. That's because I want to have that little flap on either side so that I can take these and fold them over toward the center like that, like that. And then once I've done that, I'll take all of my fingers just to sort of keep it from tearing and gently squeeze and try to roll it up again tightly without tearing. Now to serve them, what I like to do is uh, I'll cut them on the, at an angle or on a bias as it's called. And a neat way to sort of elegantly present them is to stand them up like that in the middle of the plate. And then make a simple hoisin and peanut butter based dipping sauce for these. What I usually start with is three quarters of a cup of water, one half cup of hoisin. These are things that most of us have around. You may not have the hoisin, but all the other ingredients are are likely to be already in your pantry, so you shouldn't have to go out and buy a lot of stuff for this. Three tablespoons of peanut butter. And then I usually give it a, a good squeeze each, or use a bottle stuff if you'd like, like I have here today, of lime juice. And some sort of chili paste, sambal or sriracha, any little hot sauce that you like to use. And you can make it hotter if you like, but I typically keep it somewhat mild and whisk this together. It's a good idea to make this ahead of time. If you're going to serve this to a group, you can sort of let the flavors meld and then adjust them to suit your taste. And this is sort of on the thin side, which is the way I like it, more of a brothy sort of dip, but you could certainly um, add more peanut butter and make it a thicker thing if you'd like. All right, so once that's in, you can either serve it in a little bowl, or if you were doing individual platings like we're doing here today, you could also just take the sauce and drizzle it over spring roll itself. 